Let's have a look at grading in Google Classroom. When you're on the dashboard of Google Classroom, on any of the tiles in the bottom right corner, there is a squiggly arrow. And when you hover over the arrow, you can see it says open grade book. When I select this, it goes right to the grade tab that's in your Google class. You can see there's the stream, classwork, people, and here are your grades. I'm going to go up to the gear and I'm going to come down to where it says grading, grade calculation. You have three options for the grade calculation. The first option is no overall grade. Second option is total points. The third option is weight by category. Let's look at the no overall grade. When you select the no overall grade, below that is the option show overall grade to students. That's grayed out. You don't have the ability to do that if you have this option selected. If you have this option selected, and you're on the grading tab and your assignments are in, the only thing that you see for the grades is out of 100. So any of these grades, you grade your student by just manually entering the information for their grade. Looking at the second option now in grading grade calculation is the total points. When you have the total points, an overall grade is calculated by you by dividing the total points a student earns by the total points possible in the class. You can create grade categories and set point values for classwork in each category. I'm going to turn on show overall grade to students and now I'm going to add a grade category. The first one's going to be question of the day. I will make this one worth 10 points. Another category, assignments will be worth 20 points. Another category for projects, this will be worth another 20 points. And the last category I'm going to add will be test quizzes. And I'm going to make this worth 50 points. Whenever you change anything in the grade categories, you have to come to the upper right and make sure to select save. I'm going to go into the assignment. And when you look at the right hand column, you can see where it says grade category now. And I'm going to select a grade category. And selecting that grade category assignments, you can see it changed the points to 20 points. And now in the grading tab, when you look at the top, you can see the category for that assignment. Testing quizzes out of 50, projects out of 20. So you can see what assignment is and what grade category it's falling under. Back in the grading tab now for the total points, we can look at student one. Student one's been graded all the way across. Now you can see there's only one that's been completely finished and there's a 98% average here. If I come to the weekly assignments, what's important to remember to do after you give the student the grade, when you return the work, then it will update the average of that grade. Going up to the grade categories again. I'm going to change it from total points to weighed by category. Now I want you to notice under grade categories, it says grade categories must add up to 100%. I'm going to make the question of the day. 10%. Assignments, I want to be 25%. Projects will be 20%. Let's make question of the day 5%. And you can see how it's totaling what I have remaining. So I'm going to make the quizzes and test 50%. Coming up to the upper right and selecting to save. This table shows weighed by category grading. In the essay category, the student averaged 75 multiplied by the category weight of 0.5 that gives a 37.5 for essays. In the test category, the student averaged 95 multiplied by the category weight again of 0.5 that gives the 47.5 for test. Then you add the two categories. You add the 37.5 and the 47.5 that gives the student the overall grade of 85%. So they're the steps that you want to do for the grade category. You select the one out of the three. When you give the assignment, you make sure to select the category. And you make sure after you've graded in the grading tab to return the work so that it can calculate the score.